Bacteriophage or phage is a virus that infects and replicates only within the body of bacteria. Bacteriophages were discovered independently by Frederick W. Ward in the UK and Felix D. Harrell in France. The term bacteriophage has been derived from two words, bacteria and phage in, meaning devour. The term was coined by Felix D. Harrell. These are found throughout the world in different environments. Bacteriophages that infect bacteria can also infect the members of the domain archaea. Even though there are different types of phages depending on the type and group of bacteria they infect. However, all phages share some common characteristics or properties. Some of such characteristics or properties of bacteriophages are like all other viruses, bacteriophages are highly spe species-specific towards their host cell. The bacteriophages only infect a single species of bacteria or even specific strains of bacteria within a species. The basic structure of all bacteriophages is the same. They consist of a core of nuclear material surrounded by a protein capsid. Bacteriophages exist in three basic structural forms, an icosahedral head with a tail, an icosahedral head without a tail, and a filamentous form. The genetic material or nuclear material of the bacteriophages can either be DNA or RNA, both of which can either be double-stranded or single-stranded. Bacteriophages are obligate intracellular parasites that remain latent outside the host cell and require host cellular machinery to conduct their metabolic activities. Like bacteria, bacteriophages are also classified into different orders and families depending on their morphology and genetic material. A typical T4 phage contains a head, neck and collar, score, sheath, in plate and fibers. Phages may have different shapes and sizes. The most studied group is that of tailed phages with double-stranded DNA genome and it also represents the largest group. The tailed phages have three major components, a capsid where the genome is packed, a tail that serves as a pipe during infection to secure transfer of genome into the host cell and special adhesive system at the very end of the tail that will recognize the host cell and penetrate its wall. Now here in this diagram, you can see a bacteriophage infecting a bacterial cell by penetrating its core and the injected DNA into the cell wall of the bacterial cell. Here you can see the complete structure of the phage, bacteriophage. Here, in this diagram, you can see a bacteriophage injecting its genetic material into the bacterial cell. M13 is a filamentous bacteriophage composed of circular single-stranded DNA, which is 6,407 nucleotides long. The life cycle of M13 is relatively short, with the early phage progeny exiting the cell 10 minutes after infection. M13 is a chronic phage releasing its progeny without killing the host cells. Lambda phage. Lambda phage or coli phage is a bacteriophage that infects the bacteria belonging to the members of the bacterial species E. coli. The lambda phage was originally discovered by Estelle Landerberg in 1951 in the US during her studies on E. coli under ultraviolet irradiation. Lambda viruses have been studied for various purposes to understand the lytic and the lysogenic life cycles of various viruses and also as model viruses for viral studies. The virus has a temperate life cycle that enables it to either enter into the lytic phase or reside within the host genome via lysogeny. Types of bacteriophages Based on morphology, bacteriophages are classified in seven groups, group A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Group A has a double-stranded RNA type of genome. It has a hexagonal head, rigid tail with tail fibers, and a contractile sheath. Examples of group A are T-even phases, for example, T-1 
T4, T6, etc. Group B has a double stranded DNA type of genome. It has a hexagonal head without contractile sheath. Tail is flexible with or without tail fibers. Examples of group B bacteriophages are T5 and T1. Group C Group C has a double stranded DNA type of genome. Its structure contains a hexagonal head, a tail shorter than its head region, non contractile sheath in tail, and tail fiber isn't commonly observed. Examples of group T bacteriophages are T3 and T7. Group D. Group D has a single stranded DNA type of genome. It lacks a tail but contains a head region made up of capsomers. Example is X174. Group A has a single stranded RNA type of genome. It lacks a tail with a head region made up of small capsomers. Examples are F2 and MS2. Group F has a single-stranded DNA type of genome. It is filamentous. Examples FD and FL. Group G. It has a double-stranded RNA type of genome. It has an envelope made up of liquid and capsid is not detected. Examples MVL2. Types of bacteriophages based on genetic material. Phage with single-stranded DNA. Phage with double-stranded DNA. Phage with single stranded RNA and phage with double stranded RNA. Lytic cycle. The lytic cycle is one of the two life cycles that bacteriophages where the viral DNA remains as a free floating molecule and replicates separately from the bacterial DNA. The lytic cycle usually occurs in virulent phages as the phages result in the destruction of the infected cell membrane during the release of viral particles. The lytic cycle is a virulent infection as it results in the destruction of the cell. The lytic cycle of a bacteriophage contains the following steps. Adsorption, penetration, replication, assembly, maturation, and lysis and release. The lytic life cycle of the bacteriophages is completed in the following steps. Attachment and penetration. The first step in the life cycle of a bacteriophage is attachment, where the ligands on the specific molecules of the surface of the viral particles bind to the receptor molecules on the plasma membrane of the host cell. Even though there is a high degree of specificity between the receptors and the ligands, a number of viruses might use the same receptors. Once attached, the virus injects its nuclear material into the cytoplasm of the bacterial cell. The viral genome, either DNA or RNA, remains in the cytoplasm in, and in some cases becomes circular and resembles the bacterial plasmid. Once in the cytoplasm, the viral genome hijacks the most cellular mechanism and utilizes it to produce more viruses. In the case of DNA viruses, the DNA undergoes transcription to produce messenger RNA that then directs the ribosome of the host cell. In the case of the lytic cycle, the mRNA encodes for various polypeptides, the first of which destroy the host's DNA. In case of RNA viruses, an enzyme called reverse transcriptase is involved which transcribes the viral RNA into DNA. The viral DNA then takes control over the cell and produces different proteins required for the assembly of new viruses. The viral DNA also goes replication to produce more genetic material for new viral particles. The process of biosynthesis and DNA replication is mediated by different genes and enzymes. As biosynthesis and replication continue, a large number of viral proteins and genomes are formed. Once enough viral proteins and form the natural, as biosynthesis and replication continue, a large number of viral proteins and genomes are formed. Once enough viral particles are formed and maturated, these particles under assembly during which the genetic material of the virus is incorporated into the viral protein, capsid. The newly assembled bacteriophages release the enzyme 
lysine into the cytoplasm. The enzyme causes the lysis of the bacterial cell wall, resulting in the release of newly formed phage particles. Thus, at the end of the lytic life cycle, the infected bacterial cell and cell membrane are destroyed. Now, I will tell you how the bacteriophage infection looks like in the real world. Assembly of bacteriophages Multiple copies of the capsid scaffold complex bind to the portal protein to form the procapsid. Then the scaffold proteins are ejected and DNA is packed into the procapsid which expands to the size of the mature capsid. The head completion proteins, the stopper and the adapter are bound to the portal complex preventing DNA leakage. Next, decoration proteins bind to the capsid and the tail. Assembled separately of, of, or after DNA packaging is attached. Thus, the final infectious phage is produced. The pre-assembled tail attaches to in myoviridae and cyphoviridae, while in poroviridae, the tail assembles at the stopper. Lysogenic cycle. During the lysogenic life cycle, the host bacteria continues to live and reproduce normally after the replication of bacteriophages. The genetic material of bacteriophage incorporated in the bacterial DNA during the lysogenic life cycle is called the prophage, which can be transmitted to daughter cells during the bacterial cell division. The lysogenic cycle is a temperate and non-virulent infection as the bacteriophage doesn't kill the host cell. The process of lysogenic life cycle occurs in the following steps. Attachment and Penetration the bacteriophage ligands attach to the receptors on the surface of the bacterial cell wall. The attachment is highly specific as it is determined by the interaction between the ligands and the receptors present on the surface of the bacterial cell wall. After attachment, the viral genome is injected into the cytoplasm of the host cell. The infective viral DNA or prophage is then incorporated into the host chromosome which converts the infective prophage into a non-infective prophage. Replication. The viral DNA then uses the host machinery to replicate as it continues to replicate with the host chromosomes during cell division. In some cases, the prophage might be ejected from the host chromosome and the viral DNA might enter the lytic cycle. Unlike the lytic cycle, the bacterial cellular mechanism is not hijacked by the viral particles and no biosynthesis of viral proteins takes place. The process of replication continues until there are some stressors which can be either physical stressors like UV radiation, low nutrient condition or chemical which might result in the transition of the lysogenic cycle into the lytic cycle. Once converted into the lysic cycle, the viral DNA then undergoes transcription to produce viral proteins. The proteins and viral genome are then assembled to form the complete viral particles, which are then released from the host cell by lysis. Difference between lytic and the lysogenic cycle The lytic cycle is a type of life cycle of bacteriophages where the viral DNA remains as a flea protein molecule and replicates separately from the bacterial DNA. Lysogenic cycle is another type of life cycle of bacteriophages which is defined by the incorporation of the bacteriophage genome into the host genome. The lytic cycle is also called the infective cycle or the virulent cycle. The lysogenic cycle is also called a temperate cycle or a non-virulent cycle. In the lytic cycle, the viral DNA remains in the cytoplasm of the host cell, but in the lysogenic cycle, the viral DNA is incorporated into the host chromosome. Host DNA is destroyed by various proteins encoded by the viral DNA, whereas the host DNA is not affected by the viral DNA in lysogenic cycle. The viral DNA replication occurs separately from the host DNA replication, but in the lysogenic cycle, the viral DNA replication occurs along with the host DNA replication. The productivity of the viral and the viral proteins and DNA is high. The productivity of viral DNA and viral proteins is low in the lysogenic cycle. Host cellular mechanism is completely hijacked 
in the by the viral DNA in the lytic cycle, but in the lysogenic cycle, the host cellular mechanism remains unaffected. The lytic cycle is immediate and is completed within a short period of time, whereas the lytic lysogenic cycle takes a longer period of time. The lytic cycle cannot transition into a lysogenic cycle, but a lysogenic cycle can transition into a lytic cycle. As the cycle is an infective cycle, symptoms of the viral infections can be observed in the lytic cycle, whereas the la cycle is a non non-infective cycle that doesn't result in symptoms. The viral DNA cannot be transferred from the host cell to the daughter cell during the lytic cycle, but the viral DNA can be transferred into the daughter cell during the lysogenic cycle. The lytic cycle doesn't allow genetic recombination of the host gene chromosome, whereas the lysogenic cycle allows the genetic recombination. The lytic cycle ends with the lysis of the host cell, but the lysos lysogenic cycle doesn't result in the lysis of the host cell. Two types of transduction generalized. The bacteriophages can pick up any portion of the host genome. At first, the bacteriophage infects donor cell and then begins the lytic cycle. Specialized transduction. The bacteriophages pick up only specific, specific portions of the host DNA. At first, the bacteriophage enter into the lysogenic cycle. It enters into the donor bacteria and then its genome gets integrated with the host cell's DNA at certain location and remains dormant and pass generation to generation into daughter cell during cell division. Applications of bacteriophages. Bacteriophages are used to, for genetic analysis. Two distinct phage genotypes can be crossed to major recombination. It is used to prepare a map of the viral genome. It can be used as a way of bringing bacterial genes together for linkage and other genetic studies. Bacteriophages are used in molecular technology as carriers or vectors of foreign DNA inserts from any organism. Thank you.